What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining us, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So let me ask you a question. How's your Wi-Fi coverage? Are you getting a signal throughout the house in every room? Are there some rooms that have poor signal or no signal at all? Well, if you answered yes to those questions, it sounds like you need a WAP, wireless <laughs> access point, in your home. And today, I'll show you how to install one. Now, we installed the Netgear WAX630 a couple of months ago. So make sure to watch that at the end of the video. And in that video, we show a little bit of the installation, but that video was really about the WAX630 and all its features. So today, I'm gonna show you how to install a WAP, wireless access point, and I'll explain all the details about this process. And I do recommend the Netgear WAX630. It's a business class wireless access point. It has fantastic coverage and fantastic speed and WPA3 security. Now, when installing a wireless access point, I always recommend using PoE connections, power over ethernet. With most access points, you can use a power connection, but that's more difficult to install because you're gonna need a power outlet. If you use PoE, you need one cable and that's it. So now let me show you the process. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. Everybody's doing it. Okay, let me show you where our access point is installed. And you'll see right here, we installed it in the hallway. It's kind of in the center of the house. And that's where you want it. In the ceiling, you can also install it on a wall. Like we could put it right here on the wall. But the better way is the ceiling because we know walls can block signals. Uh, this is a way better way to do it. Now, fortunate for us, we already had an access point right here. We had a Ruckus R610. It was installed by the builder when we first bought the house. So what we did was take that, we took it down, unmounted it, and then I just mounted this to the same spot, which is pretty easy. The bracket was different, and I'll show you that in the installation in a minute. And this is our network panel where the access point connects to. Now it connects to the Ruckus ICX switch because this is a managed switch, it's a PoE switch. So we have power over ethernet with this switch. And let me show you the line here, I did label it. It says Ruckus uh, WAP, but really it's the neck gear now. I should probably change that eventually. But you notice these ports here are all PoE ports. And what's great about this, there's no power connection needed for that access point. The PoE connections powers it as well as the data. We get both data and power. It's great. Now the connection here, you'll see the line goes all the way up here and it goes up into our attic. And this is where we get access to our attic for the attic space. We're gonna go up there. All right, we're up in the attic. And I'll show you where the line goes over here. One thing I forgot, last time I was up in this attic, I left my flashlight up here. I always leave a tool in the attic, it seems like. Let me see if I can find that flashlight. Somewhere over here. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. Let's see. Oh, there, there it is. Voila. I always do this. Never fails. All right, back to what I was doing. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you where that CAT6 runs to. The CAT6A that goes to our access point. It's right over here, because the access point is gonna be right there. I'm not gonna dig up the um, insulation. I don't have any gloves on. So there's a wire like right here I can point to. That's the CAT6A going down right there through the ceiling. If I pull all that away, you'll see the uh, CAT6A goes down there but that's where it connects to. Now I'm gonna show you where that runs from. The cat 6 a which is the gray, it's the gray cable, runs all the way right over here. You see all the wires, they run all the way there. That's where the network panel is, where the wire drop is. And I believe I've got about 26 wires that go down there. Four, three cat 6 as and the rest are just cat 6 riser cable. That's where it goes. And this is about, what are we at, February 15th, or no, February 14th. It's not hot up here at all. This is a good time to do some work. If you're gonna do any work in your attic, I recommend being up here in February, maybe March. Once you hit April or May, especially in Las Vegas, this place can get super hot. 
So oop, don't forget my trusty flashlight here, a light. Don't forget that again. All right, let's go downstairs and I'll show you how we installed that access point. Okay, this is the new bracket for the Netgear WAX630. And using the bracket, I marked these three hole locations. And I believe two of the hole locations go into studs. The third one, I'll use a drywall anchor. Luckily, access points are not very heavy. And of course, you can see that gray Cat6A cable for the PoE connection. And for this install, you'll need a cordless drill, drill bits, and a hammer for the drywall anchor. And of course, a drywall anchor. And I did test this anchor with the screws provided with a neck gear bracket. And it fit perfectly. So now we'll drill three holes. And the reason why I'm not installing this directly over the opening is because my stud finder detected metal. So I had to make an adjustment to my location. No big deal. And now I'll do a quick test fit. And it looks good. So now we can attach the bracket with three screws. And for some reason my camera shut off while installing the last two screws. And like I said, once again, this is the PoE connection, the Cat 6A. Now I need to attach the Cat 6A to the PoE++ connection on the access point. And FYI, a PoE++ is a 2.5 gig connection. And now we attach the access point to the bracket. It basically screws onto the bracket. And there we go, we're done. Now depending on your access point, you'll have to download an app and then connect to the access point and then get it all set up. So guys, that's how you install a wireless access point, a WAP, in your home. Like I said before, I recommend PoE connections. They're the best connections possible. It's power and data. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.